You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and this one I'm pretty excited about because I like cars and tracks and like playing with this kind of stuff. It's a Micro Chargers electronic micro racing car set from Moose Toys, and it says Crash Track, Race Track, Quick Charge. I have no idea what I need, kind of batteries, so I'm going to have to take it out, set it all up, see what I need. It says look for stunt and race tracks, so... There's other things you can do, huh? And look at the box. Alternate track configuration 1, alternate track configuration 2, so there's 1 and 2, and an all-new roadblock finish, so you can probably stop the cars, charge your car. Okay, look at that. Crash or survive in the center? I don't know. Let's see, it's still sealed. I get the trusty old implement out. see what's involved okay what's involved is that there's tape here too and here and here <laughs> you just never know with boxes these days exactly what's gonna end here okay so here we go well first thing first when you get this is to cut the tape on three sides and don't do what I just did ah finally okay Let's just uh, take a look. It is kind of exciting. For me, anyway. I don't know about the rest of you. I guess I'm the lucky one that actually gets to investigate and take it all out. So here are two pieces of track. And then here are some turns. Looks like they're doubled up. So there's four there, and they're in this little plasticky kind of rubber band. And then this here... And they're on a string, so I'm just, probably not supposed to stay that way. Let's get under here. So there's more turns under here. And they're rubber banded. And then the instructions. Okay, that's a good start there. And then stuff that's stuck under here. I think I'm just going to go right into building, huh? Just like if you got it, what would you do? Dump it all out, get the instructions. Here is the car. And that's uh, taped in underneath. So this is what the car looks like. It is super tiny. And when I say super tiny, I mean super tiny. And then this thing here. And you know what? It's just easier to cut these. Okay. So, let's get this all out of here. Look at that. Camera changing color there. Sorry. Just had a lighting thing. Sometimes it does that. It goes to blue. So, here's all the pieces. Here is the micro car. And then here is the charger, controller, thingamajig don't know how to get into it yet this opens looks like there's something here it's an arrow going this way but I think that's just for that switch all right let's get into this this looks like storage yeah there put your car in the top let's get into the instructions I'm gonna have to get batteries okay I don't know, sometimes it gets a little daunting when you take on a new project like this. Here's a sheet that says uh, the different cars and their names. Okay, so that's something you'd have to investigate more. There's quite a few. And uh, more here. And it looks like they have names for them like Omnitech, Velox, Nanite. And what was on this side? Cybroid, or Cydroid, Energet, and Gravitech. All right, so here are the instructions. So let's build this track here. So this goes this way. And these are the connecting pins. Kind of like the old Hot Wheels. They had those connecting pins between the tracks. So it looks like this goes this way. Yep, all right. Here, let me uh, let me make an adjustment here. Clean up a few things 
and get going on this. Okay, so move the camera up a little bit so you get a better view here. And then basically a straight track goes to this. And you can see there's these little pin connectors here that connect. This one is not on all the way, so we need to push that on all the way. Then that locks in, okay? Didn't notice that right off the bat. And then that one is the roundabout here. Now they do show arrows on the roundabout going this way on the picture. So this would be the next piece. Now you need to get one of your connectors. Okay. And then connect that to that. As you can see, it takes a little time to connect. Come on, move back. There you go. That is that piece. And then it looks like it's going to be turn, turn, turn here. So we can connect all those together. Hmm. All right. This goes into this. Okay. And then this connects into here. Nice. Then this would connect down to here. Okay, so that's that. I was about to put that on. All right, I can't wait to just run this thing. And then the next one, here yeah, I can stick it on here. I didn't notice it was like a trick or something. You almost have to bend the track back just a little bit. And then I need to connect this. Wow. You're seeing the whole thing here, huh? Okay. So that is part one. Now there's going to be another turn here. Let's get that set. I don't know if there's any differences to why they have this designed. And I'm following it there. It seems like it's a little different why they would do it that way, not just have the same exact. There's probably a reason. I guess I would need to study that a little more. Then the turn, like a S-curve. Okay, and then this track. Wow, it's going to take up the whole table here. This one here. Sorry if I went off camera there a little bit. I'd have to put the camera super high to show this whole thing, but at least we're coming to the end now, which looks like that. Yep. And there's the finish line piece in here, and they show it right there. Now how it connects, I don't know yet. Okay. Oh, I'd see. They want it to slip on like that. Oh, I thought I saw. Let's just do that. Come on. Looks like it just slides over. Hmm. Let's look at that closely. It's not very clear exactly how that piece goes in. Yeah, I would think it should just go over doesn't interfere and that's what I'm going to do. They give you an extra one. Wow. Well this is what it's going to take to set this up if you get it, okay? It's definitely not an instant setup, okay? What's going on here? Okay, so that's in and out. So that's your stopper. Let's get that in here. Let's just review everything. Looks like we have the track right. It just says use track connectors to connect all tracks together. It doesn't show any references to the direction. Hmm. All right, so the next step then is track system assembled. Yes, we have that, very cool. Get most of it in the camera. Then it says using your launcher, charge, switch, 
launch button, insert car in front of launcher as shown rear end first. Press in until gate clicks up in front of car. When launching car, ensure launcher sits flat on top of track. Launcher requires two AA batteries. There's a screw on the side. Oh man. I see now. It's this screw here. Let me get my set and get some batteries. Okay, so I have my screwdriver handy. Well, it wasn't handy. I had to get it. And my batteries are in. Okay. Now, does it say how long it needs to charge? Wow. Such a learning curve. So it says insert car rear end first. So it clips in. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I don't want to be running. Turn it off. Stop. Stop. Off. On. Off. On. Hmm. Why is it running? Insert car in front of launcher as shown. Rear end first. Okay. Charging off. Charging on. So charging is on now. Hear that high pitch ween? So how long do you charge? So when launching car, ensure launcher sits flat on surface. So they mean that. All right, doesn't tell you where to launch. Uh, competition racing setup. Okay, racing, crash racing. Launch both cars onto track at the same time. Oh, we only got one car. Let's just do it, huh? Which direction? Well, the arrows on that are going that way, so let me just try this. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Actually, that's awesome. And here's our car. It's the car we have. It came with a little tag. There's a little sign. I didn't put the sign in. Could put it right here. It looks like it goes right there. That's neat. That thing runs great. Look at that. It's starting to wear out now. Put that away. Clean up a little bit. I wish I had two cars. Okay. So let's. Ooh, let's stop it. Come on, come around. All right. Remember, rear end in first. There's a lightning bolt. So this is not charging. The lightning bolt is charging. So let me uh, make some adjustments to the track here. Get a little closer. Okay. Well, that's not charging for long. You see the direction the arrows are going. On this piece here, you see these arrows going this way, so that's why we started it. That's why I started it that way. Oop, had to stop her down. Whoa, hey, get back here. Can we get even closer with the camera? Let's get a close up of that car, just the car itself. It's just amazing to think that this little, okay, so it's the front wheels that are spinning, not the back wheels. It is tiny. Let's put her back in. Charging, okay. So this will be the launch again. And it's a crazy video, right? See if we can get in right at some racing action here. I'm gonna say for the most part, this thing is really cool. And I can see three or four, even five, six cars just going around the track, crashing, recharging, setting them up. Now I wonder, here let me show you this side here while that's going around. I'm wondering if this is maybe a launcher section to set it going. There you go. See? Let's do it. Yeah, I know. Everybody says, oh, you should have realized that. No, no. You get a new toy. You just get in there. You're excited. 
you don't see every detail, you kind of read the instructions, but you just want to race, right? So you set it there, it's the perfect level, and then you press this button, and now you're racing. So this one's the stopper, I can let the car stop there, okay? Oh, off the track. What do you think of that? Oops, stopped it by accident. So it looks like it goes a while on a charge. To me, it's mesmerizing. I just like to watch. I'm going to do it one more time. I think you get a good idea about this one. I sure do. I like it. That's what the charger looks like. Here's your storage for your car up here. At first, I mean, in the off position, it still sounds like it's charging, but then when you move it to the lightning bolt, you get that higher pitch sound. I don't know why, I'm just showing you the track. Pretty cool overall. I think the whole thing is about, uh, our, the tabletop here is about four feet, so it's less than that, it's about three feet. Now it's been charging for a while, and this is the last launch. And we'll call this one a wrap, successful little issues there with me setting it up but overall pretty cool and I'll just let that run out thanks for watching it's really appreciated hope you like this one later This video is now over. If you want to see more videos in this series, check the description, search the channel, or click here. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.